I have a keyboard problem. Okay, maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's more like an obsession. Okay, that's not any better. Uh, I have quite a few keyboards and I've accumulated them over the years to solve specific problems that I was having with my workflow at each point in time. Let me explain. My first ever keyboard purchase was the Apple Wireless Magic Keyboard. The reason I got this is because I had just started college, I got my iPad, and I wanted to go full on iPad um, during college to take notes, to do my assignments, study, things like that. At that time, there weren't any iPad keyboards, so I got a Magic Keyboard. Next was the wired Apple keyboard. I got this one because I wanted something to live at my desk. I already had the Apple wireless keyboard. I wanted that to stay in my backpack, but I wanted something that I could keep on my desk, plugged into my computer so that whenever I went home, it was seamless. I could just turn on my computer, start typing away on something that felt familiar. Um, so I got this one. Okay, then that happened. And then I upgraded my iPad to the iPad Air 2 and Logitech made a keyboard case for that. So, enter iPad Air 2 with the Logitech keyboard. Uh, this was awesome. I no longer needed a separate wireless keyboard. I could just carry this around and I had uh, a keyboard ready for me to type on. So this really improved my workflow whenever I was in college, taking notes, uh, just browsing the web, like really basic things like that. I could just pull out my iPad anywhere on campus and I was good to go. So problem solved, right? Actually, my setup at home started to become a tangled mess. Now it's been a few years since I lived at home so I don't really have a picture of what that looked like but my problem at the time was getting rid of cables. So enter the Logitech K750. Uh, this was a Mac wireless keyboard. Um, and it was solar powered, which is really cool because it means that I didn't have to worry about the batteries. So this solved the clutter issue. Uh, that is until some of the keys stopped working and I couldn't use it anymore. So, so at that point I had started working full time and uh, my employer provided a Microsoft wireless surface keyboard, which was great to use on my work keyboard, but switching that or connecting that to my Mac uh, was pretty cumbersome and I still had this keyboard but as you can see there was an accident where some of these keys just they don't work anymore luckily I was able to get this replaced with an updated Apple wireless keyboard so this keyboard is awesome and it got to the point now where it's like cool I have a awesome Mac keyboard I have the wireless Surface keyboard, but now I have two keyboards. And if you've gotten to this point, you're probably saying like, okay, Chris, you kind of created these problems for yourself. You could have just gotten something to address all of that to begin with, which yes, I know, but that's also the point of this video. So I had my Mac keyboard. I have my wireless Microsoft keyboard. Uh, I kind of wanted something to pull all of that together and consolidate. That's where the Logitech MX Keys comes in. So I got this as a birthday gift. Uh, I've been wanting it for quite some time and you're right, I could have gotten a keyboard like this that would have consolidated all of my devices, laptops into one keyboard, but there were some things that weren't on the previous versions of the keyboards that I'm really glad I waited for um, to get this one. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Logitech Keys MX. The Logitech MX keys. Um, is it worth it? Uh, and what types of problems does this solve? And can it really get rid of all of these other keyboards? So with that said, let's get started. So let's talk about the Logitech MX keys. Um, I'll leave a link to the Logitech website in case you want to look at the specs, but really what I want to talk about is some of the features that really made this one of the keyboards that I appreciated, um, things that I've been looking for, and then also things that I learned about the keyboard uh, that I didn't really know about, but that have been pretty useful. So the Logitech MX Keys, it is a full-sized keyboard, 
awesome. I am an accountant, so having the 10 key is really important to me because I deal a lot with numbers. Um, the keyboard as well has backlit keys, which is really one of the things that kept me from getting any of the prior Logitech keyboards. Uh, so I really appreciate the backlit keys. Um, I'm the type of person that kind of likes working, not in complete darkness, but I like to have like a lamp or something for some ambient lighting. Um, I just kind of like to work that way. So having the backlit keys was really beneficial for me. I use, like I mentioned before, Windows for work, Mac for making videos and stuff like this. So I really wanted a keyboard that worked well with both operating systems. And that's why I got this version. Um, it's really great at marking the keys for Windows and for Mac. Now, quick side note here, Logitech recently released a similar version of this keyboard, but specifically for Mac. And even though I am a Mac user, I intentionally opted not to get that one just because of because of the compatibility of that keyboard with Windows. So I use a Windows computer during the day and then I unplug that, plug in my Mac, and just being able to press a button to switch to the computers and have the keyboard layout automatically know when I'm connected to a Mac or a Windows, I just like that better. Instead of having to rearrange my buttons or how I use my keyboard to adapt to Windows or Mac. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're on the fence between this and the Mac only version. Um, if you use both Windows and Mac, I would recommend this one just because the button layout is already where you would expect it to be. Uh, whereas if you get the Mac version, then the buttons will be laid out for the Mac and you kind of have to adjust how you use it on the Windows computer. The keyboard spacing. I like how the keys are spaced out. They're not too crunched in, but they're not too wide. Uh, they have this little dip in the keys that really makes it um, just a little enjoyable to, to type. Uh, I could type on this keyboard all day and um, it's something that just based on the other keyboards that I've had, they're, they're, they have all been flat keys. And I mean, the typing experience is great on all of these different keyboards. There's just something about having those little grooves whenever you find the key and put your fingers on it. It's just satisfying. Um, there's a full function row uh, at the top of the keyboard. Uh, which is awesome and it works for Windows and Mac as well, which is something that I struggled with with uh, these other types of keyboards. So function row either worked with Windows or either worked with Mac, um, but a lot of these function controls work the way you would expect them to on both Windows and Mac. Uh, of course, you're able to connect this keyboard to three devices at once. So actually what I do to kind of add more devices, um, the first option I've connected to a the Logitech unifying receiver. And what I'm able to do there is once it's connected to that receiver, um, I can basically connect that receiver to any laptop or computer that I want and I'll be able to use this keyboard with that first option. Again, multi-device support, it's really easy to pair uh, three different devices and it's really easy to switch in between them, which is something that um, I definitely appreciate. This keyboard lives at my desk and I really like that because I don't have to worry about switching keyboards out or turning it off or anything like that. It just stays there and depending on what device I'm using, it's ready to go. So it charges with USB-C, which is great because I always have a USB-C cable at my desk. Um, and this charges really quick. You don't need to have it plugged in for a long period of time. So uh, when I'm done for the day, I'll plug it in and I'm good to go for for quite some time. One thing I wasn't expecting about this keyboard was just how heavy it was. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I have some keyboards that are pretty light. Um, for example, this Magic Keyboard, it's super light. It's super convenient whenever I put it in my backpack, but uh, for some reason, I, I don't know if because I put something heavy on it, but if I lay this on a table and I start typing with it, it's not level anymore. So there's always like this like clacking. It's always banging against the desk and it gets pretty annoying. So that's something I don't really like about that. Um, I really haven't had that issue with this Magic Keyboard, um, but still it's pretty light. It's like if you move, I don't know, it just doesn't stay on the desk. Whereas this one, like I don't have to worry about anything. I just type away and it's sturdy and it stays where it's supposed to. So really like that. The finish is really great as well. Now I will say this, the finish on this keyboard is different from the Mac only version. And whenever I was looking at this online, um, I thought, then maybe that's just on me, I thought the finish would have been like an aluminum, um, but it's actually like this just 
brushed plastic. I really don't know how to explain it, but it's not metal, it's plastic. And again, that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. It looks nice, it kind of fits the aesthetic of my, my work area. So it doesn't really bug me, but it's one thing that I was expecting metal, it turns out it's plastic. Um, if that's a deal breaker for you, then this is why I'm pointing it out, but for me it wasn't that, uh, that much of a deal breaker. Now, this keyboard is not cheap. Uh, it comes in at $99. Uh, so it's pretty, it's a pretty pricey keyboard, um, similar to like the Apple Magic keyboard. Uh, but I definitely think it's worth it. And that kind of, it's a good segue into my discussion about investing in your home office productivity setup. I'm lucky enough to be able to work from home, which means I'm at my computer at least eight hours a day, sometimes more. So that means I'm spending a lot of time at my desk, sitting on a chair, using my keyboard and using my mouse. So these are the products where if you have the means to, or if you're looking to, I would try to invest in good quality products that uh, fit your budget and also fit the type of work that you're doing. So like I mentioned before, I'm an accountant, so 10 keys, I wanted a 10 keys. I don't like navigating my way around the numbers on the top of the keyboard. I can type with my eyes closed on the 10 key like nobody's business. So this fit that. I work on a Windows computer and I use a Mac personally. So I wanted something that could connect to both and had uh, most of the features that I would expect out of a keyboard for the respective operating system. This fit that box. I wanted something that was wireless. So this you can use with the unifying receiver and with Bluetooth. So that checked that box. I wanted something with a good battery life. I didn't want to replace batteries. Um, and this charges with USB-C. It charges quickly. The battery lasts a reasonable amount of time. So that checked that box. And all of that to say is, what are your boxes that you want to check? Maybe this is uh, a great keyboard that might have a great typing experience, but maybe it doesn't fit your budget or maybe it doesn't fit your workflow. Uh, if backlit keyboards aren't something that you're looking for, Logitech makes a lot of options that are cheaper, that don't have a backlit keyboard, but offer the same typing experience, the same battery life, the same multi-device support. So maybe that's something worth considering for you. Uh, if you want a different typing experience, uh, maybe something like mechanical keyboards, then you should look into mechanical keyboards. Logitech also makes mechanical keyboards, but there are other manufacturers who specialize in those mechanical keyboards. So maybe looking into something like that is worth it for you. The main reason here is Take a look at where you're spending most of your time throughout the day. If you're typing away, like you wanna get something that's comfortable, something that you won't get tired of typing on, something that uh, feels good in your hands and um, improves your typing accuracy, it, things that matter to you. So for me, I'm slowly starting to upgrade all of these products that I use on a daily basis. Um, I started with my mouse, I had the Logitech uh, MX Master 3, which I'll create a separate video about that. It's one of my favorite mice. Um, I finally got the keyboard that I've been waiting for. Um, so really the next parts are the chair. And the first product that I really invested in to uh, adjust to my workflow was a standing desk. And that was one of the first reviews that I posted on my channel. So I'll leave a link here in case you're interested. Or here, somewhere up here. So overall, I am super happy with this keyboard. The build quality is great. I love that it's heavy, it stays in place. It has all of the features that I looked for in a keyboard. I can use it comfortably with my PC, my Mac, and if I needed to on my iPad or my iPhone or Pixel. And overall, yeah, I'm really happy with this. There's a lot of features that I didn't talk about on this keyboard that I just haven't gotten a chance to use. Uh, specifically things like uh, the Flow software that lets you connect to two computers at one time and copy and paste between uh, Windows and Mac or two separate computers. Haven't had a chance to work with that, but if that's something you're interested in, I can also take a look and make a video about that. But yeah, overall, I'm just very excited about this keyboard and I can't wait to keep using it. Uh, and yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, let me know. I'm posting updates there on what I'm working on and uh, how things are going. So I uh, really appreciate you watching this video. If you like what you saw, 
go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I post new videos. And I'll talk to you in the next one.